there's been a lot of uh, tough acts to follow, and um, I'm up now, so uh, dropping the ball. Um, so nursing, uh, we have uh, seven kind of ish master's programs. I don't know if they're lumped in together. Some two different master's programs can see, be seen as one. Um, we have two different doctorate programs. And then we have a uh, bachelor's degree in which I'm going, I am in currently, I'm in my second semester. And so how the bachelor degree is set up is you do two years of prerequisites and then you come here, you apply, um, you get accepted, and then you do four semesters, two years of nursing. And it's really interesting because I know with med school, I believe it's two years didactic and then to two years clinical, um, which nursing is while you're going through the lecture, you're also going through the clinical. So you immediately learn something one day and you apply it in the hospital the next. Um, and fun fact about nursing, uh, they also do research. I did not know that uh, until I actually got there and I do research with one of the, um, with one of the teachers at the School of Nursing. Um, but so uh, the nursing program is a uh, bachelor's degree, four year degree, and I'm in my second semester, so I have a year after this to go. So um, why nursing? Uh, when I was in high school, uh, my freshman year, uh, I did a lot of pole vault and water polo, and that, that took a lot of damage to my back. And um, since then, I've had six back surgeries. And uh, being young and dumb, I didn't know a lot. And so, uh, I would go to doctor's appointments and they would tell me these things and the words were foreign. And so, of course, something was happening to my body and I wanted to know why it was happening. And so that's when I started kind of researching on my own what was going on. And that piqued my interest into medicine. Um, what I was going through uh, kind of uh, got me looking in, in that uh, field. And so it's a broad field and so I knew I had to pick something. And so why nursing? I picked nursing because I own a mirror, I realize that I'm not that attractive, and 80% of, 81% of uh, the students are females, so I'm trying to stack my odds. Um, <laughs> um, no, that, that, was just, that was just serendipitous, that was just a, that was just a pro. Um, but the, the, the real reason I picked uh, nursing um, was uh, the hospital that uh, I had four of my surgeries at was in Dallas. And fantastic staff, fantastic nurses, because, I mean, I, I mostly interacted with the nurses because that's who you're with most of the time. Um, it was the little things that got me. It was, uh, I liked, uh, I didn't like water, and so I liked juice, and so every time that I would have to take medication, they would automatically do that. It was a very nice thing. Um, another thing was, uh, during the night when they have to take vitals, of course, my mother was there on the pull-out um, pull chair, and uh, most of the time, they wouldn't even wake her and get my vitals, and so I thought that was amazing. Um, and, of course, uh, I had one negative experience with a nurse, and so uh, for my third surgery, um, it was a more extensive surgery. I was in longer, and so I was, I, I had a little bit more drugs in my system, and so because of that, uh, I was still catheterized. Um, but right after you're awake and you're oriented, they want you to walk. And so they got me up to walk, and I was still catheterized. So I get up, and I'm holding the, uh, the IV pole, and uh, she's holding the, uh, the, the cath bag. And I ask her, I'm like, do you want me to hold it? And she's like, no, 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 I got it. And so uh, we start walking. And as we're walking, walking down the hall, she drops the catheter bag. I go down a little bit, because uh, where the bag goes, I follow. Um, and so um, she was getting mad at me because I was bending. I couldn't bend because I just had back surgery. And I was trying to explain male anatomy. Um, and, uh, and so um, that, that experience kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. And, and so when I was there, I had a lot of great nurses. And, and I realized that the nurses there made a bad experience better and that, that, that negative um, interaction with that one nurse, it kind of made a bad experience worse. And so that, that's why I, I picked nursing, because I want to be able to impact um, people staying in the hospital. I want to be able to, um, I want to be able to uh, give them, at, at one of their worst moments, a little bit of a, of a, of a happiness in there. Um, and so 
that's kind of why I chose medicine. Uh, I'm sorry, nursing. Um, last semester, this was kind of nice because uh, healthcare professionals, all of us are, um, and in some form or fashion, uh, it. School gets kind of uh, overbearing and it gets very stressful and sometimes it's, it's very hard to see a lot of good things and a lot of times you second guess what you're doing. And um, my mother uh, two years previously w had breast cancer and uh, last year in August she was diagnosed that it metastasized to two places in her brain, uh, the cerebellum and the frontal lobe. So uh, it, was, uh, it was downhill quick for three months and uh, the things to go was mainly her cognition and her motor movement. And so I, I, took some, uh, I took a partial leave to help my dad care for my mother. And when we were caring for her, um, I, I can't imagine what my dad was going through. But he would try to, um, as an example, he would try to, well, you know, let's, let's get dinner on her. She has to eat. Well, it would take 10, 15 minutes to figure out what she wanted to eat because she couldn't concentrate for that long. Um, and so I automatically stepped in the role of trying to facilitate that. I, I saw that frustration he had, and she developed frustration because he was getting frustrated and she was the cause of it. So um, I automatically uh, filled in that role of um, kind of a patient caregiver. Um, and so I, I saw that. Um, I, I saw that, that that eased a lot of her tension. And I can't imagine what my dad was going through. I, I can't fault him. Um, and so it was, it was nice. It, it was a good reminder that um, we're all here for a reason. And a lot of times it seems overbearing. And it was really nice um, in unfortunate circumstances that it helped me solidify why I'm here. And it also kind of gave me a message that I, that I got with my surgeries is and it's kind of hopefully a message that I'll, I'll get across and hopefully it's implemented in practice, is how you do something is just as important as what you're doing. Um, you can't change, you, you can't change what's happening to a person, but you can change their experience. Um, like I mentioned earlier, uh, you can make a bad situation a little bit better. Um, and just for when I was in the hospital and what my mother was going through, um, a lot of the positives were good, but a lot of the negatives were really bad, and those were the ones that, that kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. And so um, that is honestly why I, I chose nursing, um, was I wanted to impact uh, patients' stays, and so that is why I'm here. Thank you.